Hey YouTubers, um, I'm Calica, known as Habitat Nineteen Seventy on YouTube. Um, today I'm gonna talk about Hunter's temporal um, dementia. It is what my father has. He got diagnosed with it about, um, say about four years ago, I think. Um, they say he has about three years left, and every time they tell us how long he has left, it tends to be different. Um, some doctors tend to think that um, that he might just have about uh, six months to three years, but they just don't know. This is one disease that is so brand new to doctors. They have a hard time diagnosing anything. Um, when people first come in with dementia, People often tend to think that it's Alzheimer's. Um, Alzheimer's has a lot of signs that Hunter's temporal dementia has. Um, but then later on, after the dementia has gone a little further, they then realize that it is that. Um, it's still new to all the doctors, so they're trying to get as many people to donate their bodies afterwards to be able to do the research they need to do to be able to help other people and, um, I don't know, maybe one day cure them. Um, my father is one of those. He is, he, he is going to be giving his body to OHSU when he dies, and that way they can have a little bit more to go off of um, until that happens. He has been um, letting them do tests and stuff like that. Um, one of the uh, side effects from this dementia is memory. That's a lot of what most people um, most people know dementia as is memory. But the other things that it has problems with um, is having the, it, it affects the emotion um, big time and personality. Um, my father was very quiet man, very kept to himself, saved all of his money, never went on vacation, never did anything. Out to eat was a very rare thing. Um, he rarely ever got anything for himself because all the money that he was willing to put out went to his children. Um, I am one of four that he took on. Um, he is actually my stepfather. Um, and we're not his real children, but he took us on to be like his own. Um, my mother and him were high school sweethearts when, we were, when they were younger in high school. Um, and when they both got divorced, they found each other again through friends and family that always thought they should be together. And they got back together and us kids finally said, why don't you get married? So, um, they think that he, they, he had this for quite a long time, but, uh, it's one of those things that during the beginning, it could be very slow to have anything that actually stands out as a symptom. Um, after that, uh, when it gets to the point where they're starting to have memory problems and personality change, at least with my father, I have noticed that it happens very quickly. Um, all the symptoms and what it does go on. This is a neuro um, neurological thing. It's a neurodegenerative disease. Um, so there's a lot of things that happen that a lot of people have a hard time sticking around, um, being there for the um, people that have this disease um, because they just they're over the top all the time. They're hard to get along with. Um, everything that you knew about the person is now gone. 
and you'll see little little tidbits here and there on what you knew they were. Um, but it's really kind of one of those things, for better or for worse. And um, what I keep on reminding myself is what a wonderful father he was to me and how he took care of me. And we want to be able to take care of him. Um, we want to be there for him. Um, one of the major side effects of this disease is it makes kind of makes the um, the family go bankrupt, basically, um, go in very big debt um, because the people with these diseases tend to spend a lot of money. They so-called need everything that they see. My dad is. Um, big into knives, and every knife that is out there, he'll say, um, he'll say that he needs that, and, you know, what, when it tells you that, that it's one of kind, or limited edition, he'll need it right away, and he'll keep on, you know, mentioning it, like, every hour to another. Um, she, they barely have, they, they live paycheck to paycheck now, and it's never really been that way. They've always had a big nest egg, um, set aside for emergencies, and basically this has ended up as one long emergency. Um, there are times, honestly, that, uh, I have had a hard time with this. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to learn more about the disease, but, um, honestly, I've tried to, I've kind of stayed away from it because the more I learn about it, the more I really it becomes, and I think that's pretty normal for a lot of families, so, um, this is what I know so far, and I will keep you updated. Thank you, YouTubers, for subscribing to me, and... Have a great day.